everyone, I'm Lou and this is Live Free and DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to make a slats rescue belt. A slats rescue belt is made in such a way that it's a single piece of rope, about a hundred feet from start to finish. I cap mine off with a button knot and if you're ever in a survival or emergency situation and you need rope quickly, it's really easy. You just cut off the end of this, pull the strand from the bottom and then you can just keep pulling and pulling and pulling until the, all the belt unravels and you have almost 100 feet of rope that can hold up to 550 pounds. It's amazing rope, it's amazing, it's an amazing way to store that amount of rope around your waist. I wear this belt basically every time I'm wearing pants. It's amazing. I hope you really enjoy this video. Check me out on Twitter, check me out on Facebook, Check me out on Instagram. If you enjoy this video, support me on Patreon, but don't forget to subscribe below. If you have any questions, comment, go to my website. There's a contact form there. I'll answer them as quickly as possible. Thanks so much. Enjoy the video. Bye. Okay, this is a slats survival belt that I made many years ago. And basically it is one long piece, a single uh, piece of um, 550 paracord. And the way that it is knotted, basically you start from the buckle, go all the way over here, and then you tie a knot at the end so it doesn't come unraveling. If you cut this piece off that I tied up in this pretty little knot, then you can pull that piece down, and then you can take that off and just pull it all off and you have almost a hundred feet of paracord that you can use in a survival situation. Um, the 7 strand 550 paracord from Paracord Plant, which I actually bought from Amazon. Um, so, I'll show you how to do this. The way I find it's easiest to start. Get that buckle. I, and by the way, I got this buckle. I actually bought a buckle from a thrift store for $2 and cut off the belt part. Um, and so to get started, I just start wrapping around. And that's four. So I bring the buckle down here. Start wrapping around. This is the easy and the hard part because you actually need enough slack to make a knot at the end of this. And one more here. Alright. So I've got and I just need to, for now, wrap it around, slide it under here, and just tie it off, and do it in such a way where you can, you're actually going to use these four pieces, and these four pieces, and there's basically one maneuver you need to do for the slats belt. As you can see, it wants to loosen up, but when it loosens up, it can get a little bit weird. So, pull that, and just kind of keep loosen it up, loosening, loosening it up a little bit, but just make sure you keep four on either side. For these big, bigger buckles, if you were doing a smaller buckle, you might do uh, less. Um, but the more loops you have, the more paracord you can actually use. Um, this is, like I said, this is a hundred feet. But all right, good. So now I got my crochet needle through there. So I just put a put the paracord on the end of that needle. 
and I'm going to pull it up. And there will be an image on my website showing you exactly how to make this knot. Step one, complete. Now we actually want to make this um, tight, it's really loose. So just tighten it appropriately. It doesn't have to be super tight, but want it tight enough so it's it looks good at the final product. Alright, see? That's good. Now we pull up on this to tighten that bottom piece. Alright, see? Now that's good. Nice and tight. Now that was just the first part. Now what we need to do is we have this loop here and this is going to be basically this loop is going to be the top loop. We need to come through here and pull and do that for in between every single one of these loops. Alright, so we've got eight loops again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take a crochet needle, thread it through all of those loops, and then again you're gonna grab it more paracord and bring it on up. Now again, you need to tighten this down. This sort of belt is really good if you're backpacking or hunting and you're out in the woods. If you ever are in a situation where you might need paracord, um, or if you're ever in a situation where you might need almost 100 feet of rope, which could be any situation really. Alright, see? That's the second level. So now again we're gonna take the crochet knife the crochet uh, needle and pull in between each one to make loops. And then we're gonna take this and loop it up and through. And we're gonna keep doing that until we get to our desired length. Well, I just realized that I made a huge mistake. When I was working with the first eight initial loops around the buckle, I 
somehow got the latch turned backwards so it's not facing the proper way on the belt. So now you get to see me unravel the belt and start over. So the paracord I'm using here seems to be a little bit thicker than the paracord belt I showed you at the beginning of this video, the black one. And because of that, it seemed like that the belt wasn't really going to fit very comfortably through the belt buckle that I have. So I decided to do only six loops total instead of the eight loops I started with. That's three loops above the buckle latch and three below the buckle latch. Here I'm tying a button knot to finish off the belt and there will be an image on my website showing you which knot I used. It's pretty standard button knot um, but it's just a pretty knot that you can put at the end of the belt just to secure it so it doesn't accidentally get too loose and slip out and start to unravel on its own.
If you enjoyed this video, then I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe below and even headed on over to my Patreon page to support so you can help me to continue to produce free content like this. If you have any questions, comment below or go to my website and again check me out on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. All those links are in the description in this video. Thanks again guys. Have a good day. Bye.